I will try to, to do my best with the few experience I have, but uh, yeah, I feel confident. Uh, I need to be really, really careful. MotoGP and Dakar are just at the opposite of uh, motorcycle racing because are really, really a different world and uh, I like the challenge and to prove myself that I am able to go through the toughest, toughest race of, of the world. Going from MotoGP to doing the Dakar and some other rallies, I mean, wow, that's a, a pretty big uh, career change. I mean, in terms of two-wheel motorsport, I mean, completely opposite end of the spectrum. It might even attract MotoGP viewers into the rally side of things. You are maybe more scared to do the Dakar because you can be lost in the desert. And there can be moments where you feel alone and uh, this you, you get scared. That in MotoGP you never have it. I have a massive respect for what those boys do and, um, and how fast they actually are. Uh, fortunately, KTM let me do this and uh, we are just putting a lot of effort on it, but I, I will need uh, a lot of time to learn to, to race with KTM in, uh, in MotoGP and uh, the Dakar. It's really, really a pride. Well, we're joined by the man himself now, Danilo. Listen, you've had a bit of time on the bike. Not a lot of time on the bike, because you, you, I think that's the most important thing to stress already, is that you, you only got sort of seven or eight days really riding on, on the KTM before coming and actually starting the Dakar. Yeah, yeah. Uh, really, really a busy period, because it's just uh, one month and a half ago. Uh, I raced my last race in Valencia. So, yeah, really, really... Uh, bussy, bussy period, but uh, yeah, um, I, uh, I've been in Dubai in, uh, in December, but just for a week because uh, then I broke my, my ankle, I broke a, a talus, so for me no, no riding till uh, today. And uh, yeah, fortunately I got some experience with motocross, but uh, yeah, I got, uh, let's say, six or seven days of experience by, by the navigation. So yeah, today was important for uh, break the, the ice, like we say in Italy. And uh, yeah, the tension was really high before the start, but uh, yeah, I'm happy to be here. It's so, so different. I mean, it's, it's worlds apart from, you know, from circuit racing, but even from motocross, it's still worlds apart from that. You're a brave man to come and just jump straight into the Dakar. What's your, what's your initial feeling been like now that you, you've had a bit of seat time? Yeah, uh, fortunately in the few days I had uh, training, I got really a big team behind me and uh, they helped me a lot. And, uh, but then, yeah, for sure, I need to be careful, fearful, fierce for the ankle. Then, uh, because uh, I don't have any, let's say, results that I want to, to reach, my, my target is to finish the race, and uh, that's, that's important. But for sure, uh, for uh, the, the scenario we've seen today has been unbelievable, and uh, riding on the sand, uh, with six uh, six gear full throttle uh, was it's really really exciting. Yeah, let's say there is nothing similar to MotoGP. The most difficult part of this race is the navigation because uh, yeah you can be quick uh, as well, but if you make a lot of mistake and uh, take the wrong road, you are you are out. I will try to to do my best with the few experience I have, but uh, yeah I feel confident. Uh, I need to be really, really careful because in 10 years of carrying MotoGP, I got just two big injury and with the rally, just 10 days and I, I got already one. So I need to be really, really careful, but I'm enjoying a lot.